In this question, when a train traveling at 2 meters per second, it begins to accelerate. Begins here means at t naught equals 0, v naught equals 2 meters per second. And this is our initial condition. It begins to accelerate at a, which is a function of v, and we need to determine the velocity and position 3 seconds after the acceleration. A as a function of v means that we have only those two options to start with. However, the first equation is what we can use because of the given initial conditions and also the given t. By using this equation, we end up with a in the denominator, which can be taken up with a power of positive 4. Making the simple integration results in this equation, from which we can solve for v. Since we have the velocity now after 3 seconds, we can look at the second equation. So v is available now, v naught is also available, and s naught can be taken by default at origin. Applying the integration, the negative power of a goes up, resulting in v to the power 5. And this simple integration results in s equals 9.98 meters. In this problem, a particle is moving in a straight line and its velocity is defined as v of s. s naught and t naught are given. Determine the velocity and acceleration as a function of time. First, the only equation that has v of s is this equation. And you can easily notice that the lower limits here are our given initial conditions. This means if we integrate this equation, we'll end up having two unknowns in the equation, s and t, which is s of t. Let's carry the integration and take s to the power 2 up with a negative power. The left side now is t and the right side is s to the power minus 1 over 4. If you substitute the limits, you will get t equals this. And by isolating s, we get s as a function of time, which is our s of t. The rest now is straightforward. Just differentiate s twice to get v and a, and they are both functions of time by default.